you know, I tend to recommend that people just start doing it from the get go. <laughs> oh, starting you know, because from it's like the get go. That's such a novel concept. I know, just to start from the very beginning, because if otherwise you can hide a lot of really important information. Oh, say more about that. You know, where what people might owe I don't know what your program might be, but they might owe a thousand dollars in pet food if they're a shelter. Mm -hmm. um, but they don't have the money to pay it, so it doesn't go on their books. And so the board has no idea how bad things really are or how good things really are because it's not accurately reflected. That's a really important uh, component from the legal aspect is that potentially the board who has the fiduciary duties is not fully informed or able right. to make good decisions. Right. So, I mean, obviously I would support all nonprofits starting from the beginning, but keep that in mind. If you're a small nonprofit doing this in a very checkbook cash style, that you're preventing your board from making good decisions and having enough information to do their due diligence about the financial state of the organization. You know, I'm a for-profit business of one person. I don't have a board that needs this information. So, you know, but you do. Right. So, well, if you're a for-profit, you can do kind of whatever you want if you're a sole proprietor or... Wait, you know. A small, I yeah. mean, you have to report to yeah, the IRS, yeah, but you don't law. have anybody yeah. looking over your shoulder. Right, right. But if you are a nonprofit of any size, even the tiniest one, you still have a board, and your board is legally responsible yep. um, for your operations. And so if you get into financial trouble, they are personally, legally responsible. And if I were on your board, I would want a clear picture. Even if the picture is bad, then at least we can make decisions, you know, where if we only have part of the information, it's much more difficult. Right on. Sometimes people ask, when should I start? And you could start tomorrow. You could there start you the next time you open the mail. It's really easy. It's not easy. that hard. You can do it. Yeah.